Hello everyone, this is Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC here to give you a tutorial on how to update your PowerSafe receivers. This update function is the same for every receiver that has a updatable firmware, uh, such as the other PowerSafe receivers, telemetry receivers, AS3X receivers, and some of the quad receivers. So you can use this as a reference for that. There's also another video for that as well, but this one is going to be geared towards the PowerSafe receivers so that you can use it with forward programming on your DX18 or DX9 or any Gen 2 radio, even the IX12 and the AS3000, the new gyro for the PowerSafe receivers. Really cool stuff that uses forward programming. That's the newest feature that is first utilized on the PowerSafe receiver. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got this new 9140 AS3000. Let's go ahead and unbox these. All right, we got these out of the box. And one thing that you're gonna need to update your PowerSafe receiver and really anything that is updatable with a PC is this cable. It's the SPMA3065 USB programming cable. So this is used, like I said, for the PowerSafe receiver, telemetry receivers, AS3X receivers, and things like that. I got one here. And also what you're going to need is a Windows PC, Windows 7, 8, 10, uh, even uh, XP will work with this program. So I've got my laptop here. Uh, so you will need a Windows PC to update these receivers. If you don't have one, hopefully you have a friend or a hobby shop that's willing to let you try it out. You only need it once to update it, so that's good to know. We'll go ahead and go to the computer here. Okay, so to update your receiver, uh, you'll have to go to uh, our website, horizonhobby.com or Spectrum RC, to find the updater utility. It's a program that you're going to need on your Windows PC. It's real simple, it's free, it's not the, something that you're gonna get charged for. An easy way to find it is to either look at the cable itself that we need to get for updating, the transmitter receiver programming cable, USB interface, SPMA 3065, or if you look up the receiver, that you are updating, like our AR9140T. Once we get to the AR9140T or the receiver that you're trying to update's page, you scroll down and you see PC download. Click on that, and it gives you some general instructions on the programmer. And if we scroll down, we want to download the most recent programmer. The Right now it's version 3.3. It may be further than that from where you're sitting, uh, but we will download that here. I've already got it downloaded, but you'll download it and install it. Just kind of follow through the steps. It's pretty simple. It will install drivers for the cable at that point. Uh, after it's done installing, plug in the cable. Once you plug in the cable, a driver window will say, okay, we're just installing. Uh, you may get a notification that says, do you want to allow this? Click yes. So we'll go ahead and plug in our programming cable our programming cable plugged in and you're going to plug it into the bind port it's the one on the top here is labeled bind so hopefully you guys can see that if not it's pretty simple and just follow the instruction or diagram on it for the polarity signal is up and we'll go ahead and open up the programmer spectrum programmer there so that's the programmer that you just downloaded and installed make sure you do that and it'll say cable connected but no device. So it sees the cable I plugged into the radio, or in, I plugged into my computer, uh, but we need to power the receiver. So as we've covered in previous videos, you can power the receiver with power cable with this check mark, but you don't want to do that with power safe receivers. Power does not come in through the servo rail. So with this one, you want to power the receiver as you would normally with a battery. So I got my battery here. I'll plug it in. All right, that was pretty quick connected and it shows us what the current version is here's another cool thing about the spectrum programmer is that you can it logs into your spectrum account or you can make an account so let's go ahead and pretend we don't have an account i wasn't already logged in i'll hit login it you can either put in your username and password if you already have an account or you can create one here simple enough go ahead and put my password in all right so this is one cool feature i really love about this programmer is that it can update and register your receiver right from our the programmer to our website. So before you had to go to the website, get your serial number, do a bunch of jumping through hoops to get your update, now you can do it all from the programmer. This is really cool. So you just click check for update. And it'll say, okay, this is your serial number. I will give it a demo as the name and hit register. 
All right, we are registered. And it says, hey, you got a new version available. Do you want to install it? Well, yes, we do. We want to have the forward programming for the AS3000. All right, it gives us a, says that's what it is. We hit update and then it will update the device. Just wait for that to go through. So as it's updating, I'll just kind of go through the other thing that you'll need to update and we have a video for it up here or in the description below is to update your radio. Like I said, it's for Gen 2 radios and the iX12. That's minus the E radios, the uh, DX6E, the DXE, and the DX8E. Uh, this is mainly for large scale, giant scale aircraft at this point. So we felt that, that was the only ones that would need it. But forward programming is now, if you update to version two for Gen 2s or version 1.4 or 1.04 on the iX12 or up, you will have forward programming. Real simple to do on updating your radio. And like I said, there is a video in the description on how to do that if you need help. So we have updated our AR9140T receiver. Hit OK. And we're good to go. It's up to 1.6. That's the version that's going to have forward programming and AS3000 support. So really, that's all there is to it, to updating your receiver. Like I said, you will need to update your PowerSafe receivers uh, unless it has some sort of little sticker on the box that says it's already been updated. Um, and you will have to update your Gen 2 radio. And you will need a Windows PC. So this is a quick synopsis of what you'll need. And there you go. It's all done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And if you like the video, like. And if you want to watch more videos, subscribe. Thanks.